Hey, welcome back to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're taking a short flight from Adelaide International out to Parafield. So just a short flight. And we're going in the Robin DR400-140B. This is a French built aircraft and a French designer, at least for the model we're going to fly today. All wooden aircraft and even covered wings. So uh, it's a bit unusual. Now, if you're uh, new to the channel, welcome. Feel free to hit that like button and hit the bell downstairs if you uh, want to see more videos from here. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, thanks for coming on back. Today's flight is, it's not a long flight, but it's a lot of fun. And uh, hang around to the end and see what happens when we spin this bird. Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. All the next plane 11. Props, jets, and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. Well, here we are in the uh, DR400 140B. Nice aircraft. I was just searching for uh, something different and uh, I run across this as the website that you saw in the intro. Um, certainly worth a visit. There's a whole range of aircraft they have. Uh, military, private and this is not a bad one. They have uh, a few different models of this and a few different liveries as well. So. And it's something that's unusual about it is the wing, the canted wing on the outside. And I was surprised, as I, again, as I said, uh, it's all made of wood. And uh, the wings and the tail being covered was a little bit different. These were first uh, built in France, as I understand it. Um, so you can see the texturing in the, in the wing. That's really nice. The uh, cockpit was well sorted out and the map there that you can see on the right just pops out like that. So I'm sure you can get in and change that to a local map. It's a PNG and it's 2048 by 2048 so um, you can put your own in there I think if you want to do a mod. So let's get this little show on the road. So here we are. Uh, Adelaide Airport. Uh, we're on the cross strip, not the main one, so the terminal is off to the left. I'm still trying to get these rudders sorted out. I think they're a little bit too sensitive still, so I'm trying to um, just balance that out a little bit, but it's better than some of the other aircraft I've been flying. Gets off nicely. And 180 odd horsepower is um, going to be plenty, especially if it's just you and I. So you can see the city out to the left there. We're going to take off and uh, turn left towards that. Um, if you're interested, uh, we, okay, we've got the sea down here as well. There's a couple of boats out there. Uh, I'm running 1440 with the DSR. It's about 1448. I've got an odd um, monitor, uh, which is 1650 at the base. So anyway, a bit of DSR and uh, it certainly makes it nice. And my visual settings are all about sort of medium to high. So it's uh, getting better each time we get a new update. We just had the new update yesterday. So I think we're um, to release I don't even think what the release is now. Anyway, doesn't matter. So here we go. Adelaide's looking very nice. You can see the sea out there and we're heading north. Now the city here is something that I've put together myself. Um, we have the uh, ortho, so that gives you a little bit, but I've put a lot of buildings around here as well, especially the high-rise ones. 
So if you want uh, Adelaide International as it is, um, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll uh, send you a link to all my airports. I do have quite a number. Uh, Parafield is another one when we get there. But I think there's been some updates through Lamina as well. Um, there seems to be a little bit more detail and a few extra aircraft around, so it could be that. It could be the X-Life as well. I'm running a few more of the plugins now, uh, especially the head shake. That's awesome. If you haven't got it and you haven't got uh, Face Track or um, IR, then um, have a little look at that. Um, it gives you a really nice look ahead feature as well. That's the new hospital out to the left. Uh, when the ortho was done here, that would have been uh, not finished. So, just tick along. I love the reflections. Now you've got the glass reflections there. It's damn excellent. bit of cloud and uh, real world weather as always try and run with the real real world makes it more fun okay so we're heading a little bit further north We've got modbury over to the right there's normally a big hospital you can see there when you fly in if you're coming in commercial or you're flying over it if you're coming from the north as we are facing come that way and down and do a right turn into the airport which is back over our left shoulder as we look at the, the aircraft the engine sounds pretty good too doesn't it it's supposed to be a, um, a light combing, so 180 horsepower, um, the 360, sounds pretty good. Not sure if Adelaide has quite that many red roofs on homes, there'd be a bit of a mix, but it's doing okay isn't it, looks nice. Okay, we're getting a little bit closer to Parafield now. Just up to our right. Chance to have a look around at some more of the scenery. You can see it nearly directly ahead of us there. I think that's it. Or is it off to the right? I think it's just off to the right. Yeah, patch just over the right hand side of the combing there. That's the uh, parafield over there. So we're doing pretty well. Just at uh, 2400. Just keeping it fairly steady. Don't need to climb because we're going to be going back down soon. But uh, we're going to do a couple of stalls in a minute as well. And. Um, some spins or stall slash spins interesting um, I have a little video for you coming up in a couple of minutes now I have contacted the owner of this so hopefully he sends me a yes it's all okay otherwise I'll release another version of this with the um, just the link for it but this is pretty amazing this young fellow um, sounds very Australian uh, is up in one of these robins at uh, a fair bit of altitude and they spin it I think it's 20 times the actual airspeed shows zero so um, yeah <laughs> pretty scary stunt get a bit worried by the time they get down to about 4,000 feet and they started about six so it drops like a rock and uh, but he's with an instructor so yeah he, he's pretty calm but um, yeah, the student gets a little bit of a 
Well, he might need a change of jocks when he gets home. I think it was a bit of a, bit of a worry. So, where are we? We have um, just ahead of us here to the left, you can just see it. There's uh, Parafield. Uh, over to the left, about 45, we have Edinburgh Air Base. And uh, probably straight north from here, we can head up to Gawler. So if you've been following the channel for a while, my early flights are all based out of Gawler, where I did. Uh, let's have a look at I this. Just hold this. Okay, this is in a Robin. Okay, full back stick, full rudder. Go. Go. Uh, look at the, look at the airspeed. Yeah. And call out whether it's stable or not. Yeah. Stable. Look yeah. at the look 80. at the altitude. Yeah. Call, call off every. Yeah, that's zero now. I like six thousand. Let go of the stick. Just keep the stick yeah. back like that. Yeah. Five and a half. You can let go of the stick. Let go of the stick. It doesn't do anything. See? Okay. This five scaring me. Five thousand. Okay, yeah. coming up to four and a half. Yeah. So hands on the dash. Hands on the dash. Opposite rudder. Opposite push that rudder. rudder. Push that rudder. Push it. Push. 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 There you go. Now grab the stick. Grab and pull the out stick. the dive. Fucking hell. Three thousand two hundred feet. Fuck me. Awesome, huh? You won't get that anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that entertaining, so I hope that all comes out well when we process it so you can see it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I made a mess of that approach, so I'm going to go around. But we will make this a quick one for you. Okay, here's my turn. This is the first of two, so, yep. Bring the power to idle. Hold the stick, keep the ball centered. And if you notice, this does actually rock right first. But I've got right rudder on, as you can see, just holding the ball, but it drops on its own. Holding, wait for it. There's your stall. You can see the right rudder's down. And it's dropped a wing anyway. So there's one. About one and a half. So yeah, oh look, I'm no CFI guys, but yeah, you neutralise everything. Rudder opposite the spin. When it stops, then um, you may need some nose down. So let's have another go. Doesn't this model look great? Okay, hang on to your hats. Let's give it another go. Holding it up. Quick check, everything looks good. We got plenty of altitude, seven and a half thousand. Throttle off, probably a bit vicious on the throttle. Okay, holding it steady. And I find I need a lot of back trim as well. We can see it's right down the bottom. But we hold it up. There we go. And things aren't going well, are they? Oh, we've broken it. And I have, as I said, I have no idea why. It seemed to enter and do everything the same as the previous one, but... Nah. Any suggestions? Stick them in the comments, guys and girls. So let's... Um, Alright, let's just land this bird and put it away it's a little soccer ground here on the left here I used to spend some time there with my grandson when he was playing footy and we could stand there and watch the aircraft land this is not the normal strip that I use I normally use the other one that I messed up on so this is the quickest way through oh a little bounce Got to work on that flare. My landing mojo was a little bit off at the moment. So, okay, down safe. Thanks for staying with me. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment. Let me know what you like and you don't like. And um, again, if you like this particular airport as well, um, it's very alive. Uh, feel free to just to leave me a comment and I'll send you a link. So with the airport, we got all the hangars down here. So again, please like, subscribe, comment. And come to the Facebook page, Let's Fly VFR Facebook page. Post your own vids, you're more than welcome. I'd like to see someone be the first. I haven't anybody take me up on it yet. You're very welcome to post your pictures, what you've been up to. If it's GA, I want to see it, so feel free to share. So we're going to put this in the box. And until next time here on Let's Fly VFR, uh, thanks for your company. And um, get out, do some flying. Look forward to catching up with you back here again real soon. Catch you soon. Bye. Bye. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.